Okay, so <clears throat> in this question, a girl is standing on a moving skateboard. She pushes backwards on the ground at intervals as shown on the graph. Okay, fine. So let us see the graph first of all. So graph is really, really huge here. It's not getting, it's not fitting even in one screen here. But anyways, um, let us see. So on y-axis, you have force and the unit is Newton. And on x-axis, you have distance, the unit is meter. So what is the question now? The question is, how much kinetic energy is gained by the girl during the period represented on the graph? Frictional forces are negligible. So there are no losses, no loss of force, no loss of energy. Now, the question is, they want us to find the total kinetic energy. Generally, in these questions, we apply the work energy theorem and work energy theorem. So what according to work energy theorem? That all of the work that is done by the person that will be converted into energy. You, you, the equivalent change in energy will be visible there. So this will be equal to the change in kinetic energy. It could be the potential energy also. But because the girl is on a skateboard and she is literally on the horizontal surface. So there is no change in potential energy. So we can say we are concerned with kinetic energy only. So work is equal to change in kinetic energy. And that is what we want to find. So actually we want to find the work. Now, as per our earlier discussions in earlier videos, I have told you whenever you have this kind of a graph, Please don't worry. Please don't uh, uh, think too much on a graph. I tell you, because whenever you see a graph, what is more important is the area under the curve. So we have to concentrate on the area under the curve. This is the area which is contained in the curve. This is. Now, what is this? How to find which physical quantity is represented by the area under the curve? We have to find the SI unit of the area. What is the SI unit of the area here? Now, area will be Newton multiplied by meter. So the area is Newton meter. The unit of whatever the area we are finding will be Newton meter because Y axis is Newton, meter is on X axis. What is Newton meter? Newton meter is basically Joule. And Joule is concerned with either the work or with the energy. So it means if we are able to find the total area under the curve that will be equal to the total work that is done by the person so total work we will we would be able to find now according to work energy theorem the total work will be converted into the kinetic energy and that is what is the question the question is what is the change in kinetic energy so accordingly we will find the area i'm just rubbing here everything now let us see what is happening here so there are three triangles this is the first one, second one, and this is the third one behind my image. And you can see it. They are very similar triangles. Okay. So how to find the area? Half into base into height. So half into base. Base is 10 minus 5. That is 5 into height. Height is 80. And every time it is the same. Here also the base is 5. Here also the base is 5. And the height is 80. So the total area will be three times the area of one single triangle. So this is going to be 40, 5 for the 20, so it is 200 multiplied by 3, so it is 600 joule. So 600 joule is the total area that will be equal to the total work done and the complete work done will be equal to the total change in kinetic energy and that is what is asked from us. So our answer should be C, that is 600 Joule. Let us verify the answer from the mark scheme. <clears throat> and yes, according to the mark scheme, also the answer is C, 600 Joule. I believe with this, the concept will be very clear. Whenever we have a graph, always, first of all, try to understand which is the physical quantity that is represented by the area under the curve. And if the question is asking the same physical quantity, you just need to find the area under the curve is simple algebra. There is no further science here. Okay. All the best. Bye.